Hey everyone, my name's Silver, and before this video starts on the Cho Cho train, I'd like to introduce you, introduce you to my channel. So, if you're here, then you're probably watching my video for news and updates on Vanguard. I'm primarily, I'm primarily becoming a Vanguard YouTuber. I tried my hand at Minecraft again recently, and it does not seem to be getting me the best review. If you'd like to see other gameplay, please let me know, and I could even start another channel. But from now on, this channel is going to be primarily Vanguard-related themes and update videos. Like, my past three Vanguard videos were my ideas on what the next uh, Grade 3 unit could be of Messiah, uh, the Cleric Sword Dragon, and Darkface from, um, what's it called? Wow, I am sorry guys, Mega Colony. Also, don't forget to check out all my friends down in the description below like the black moon dragon he does a lot of interesting content as well see we have fun channels right here he does anything from how to play vanguard to the newest updates plus stairs and other things like that so please check it out i'm even here on one of these things covering for him on a video because he was sick that day so yeah check it out great channel hope to see you all there so as I was saying, guys, today we are doing Chocho -cho stuff. Chocho, -cho, yeah. So as you know, Chocho -cho is the new um, name base uh, units for Bermuda Triangle. See, Bermuda Triangle, the only uh, mermaids. And we have a bunch of cards here that I haven't gone over yet that I would like to go over. So they're all up here. And I'm going to try to spend about a minute apiece on each one, giving my thoughts on how it affects any future deck build now most of these cards or actually all these cards I believe can only be found in the um, booster box the new boosters support box first so let's start off with the critical trigger today guys we have Chocho Sierra I can't ever pronounce half these things right it's a double rare and an SP it's generation break one skill is counter blast one put this unit into soul at the end of battle that your vanguard with Chocho -cho in its name attacked, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card, choose one card from your hand with Chocho -cho in its name, call it to rear, and it gets plus 5k. So it's a standard 4k attacker with one critical. And do I like this unit or do I not? Overall, I like this unit. I like its art and I like its skill. So it's taking the basis of the standard trigger critical trigger the cutting paste one you know give vanguard 5k when it attacks and send it to soul draw a card all that and instead you're getting this um i'm not a big fan of its cost i'd much rather it be you know an after skill thing because this unit has to be on the field when your vanguard attacks now is this good or bad it is both because if you have two of them and your chocho -cho vanguard attacks then you can send you can pay both the cost and call two new units to rear the downside to that is it's after it attacks so those units aren't going to get any trigger effects but they could combo off depending on how the other cards are the trial deck is not completed in its release but it will be soon because it comes out very very soon in Japanese and in English so overall this unit I'm gonna try to get my hands on four copies of hers as quickly as possible. The odds are though she's gonna be really expensive. So I would recommend running her in the deck if you can afford her. We'll move on to the first grade one of the deck, which is Chocho Mendes. I think I covered this uh my thoughts in another video before her art and everything was released. So she's a common. Her skill is choose a card from hand, discard it when this is placed on rear during your battle phase you may pay the cost if you do draw a card this unit gets 4k until end of turn if you have a chocho -cho memvis and a chocho -cho civis on van or rear counter charge one and soul charge one so these are specific units that um i would assume are the trial deck right i believe um oh, okay so i'll be going over those later then that one and uh that one so yeah these are units that you can uh, combo her off with um, being a common she's okay and I like she replenishes your resources that you'll lose um, 
I feel like she maybe should have been 7k just to balance herself out, but that's just my opinion. Her skill only does go off though during the battle phase, which is the only downside I don't like. But again, the overall card art is amazing. The overall skill is decent for what it does. So let's move along into the third card, which is Chocho Polar. So she's a single rare from, again, the booster box, which I will be going over a video in a couple days on that. Uh, generation Break 1, Soul Blast 1. When this unit is placed on rear, if you have a Vanguard with Chocho in its name, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one card with Chocho in its name from hand, call it trigger in the same column as this unit. So, why is this good? Well, it doesn't specify the phase. It's an auto skill. So, so as long as it's placed and you place this during the battle phase, you can combo it with the critical trigger over here to call this out. So you use this skill, call her out, use her skill to call out another unit. And if you have two of her, you call two, use her skill twice to replenish your ranks. Although, again, you won't get any um, triggers on them, but it's nice to have the ability to replenish your ranks at such a cheap cost during the battle phase. She's overall a decent card. Um, but yeah, I like her. Her skill's good, and I really can't complain too much on it. It's definitely a battle phase skill, and we should be pretty happy with that. So moving on to this card, this is the perfect guard they're releasing in the box. You got your double rare, your SP, your double rare, and your SP again. I don't know why it's there twice. They look to have different numbers. So, or not. I don't know why they're like that, but they're like that. So, let's go over Chocho Tono. Uh, 6k, again, it's a Sentinel. So let's see, let's choose a card with Chocho in its name from hand. Discard it when this is placed on guard. You may pay the cost if you do. Choose one of your units that's being attacked and cannot be hit. Uh, drop zone skill. Counter blast one. Choose another copy of this from drop zone. Put it at the bottom of the deck. When your rear guard is put into your deck during your turn, you may pay the cost if you do. Return this card to hand. So essentially, you don't. So as long as there's another copy of her, you can bounce copies of her to hand and replenish the other ones into your deck, which is really good. Um, so as long as you drop a Chocho, you can guard any unit when it's placed on guard, and it doesn't say from hand, or wait, yeah, it does, oh no, when this unit's placed on guard, so if you have a way to, like, if you run quintets with her, then you can use her skill. You run quintet wall, and then you just use that. Um, overall thoughts, art, I like it, it's adorable, I like the little pattern they're going for, and, um, yeah, I don't see any problems with this card, it's probably going to be a card that most people use. Sorry everyone, I had to uh, yawn there for a second. And being that my editing program hates me, I can't edit it right now. So, we'll move on to Chocho Bleach. Black, Black, I don't know how to pronounce that. Again, I'm really terrible with this. Now, I have theories on this card. Check out my other videos to learn more. But essentially this unit's skill is Generation Break 1, Soul Blast 1, and choose a choose one of your other rear guards with Chocho -cho Insane, put it to the bottom of your deck. When this unit's placed on rear, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the top four cards from the deck. Reveal up to one with Chocho -cho in its card name, not named Chocho -cho This. From among them, put it to hand, shuffle deck, and this unit gains 2k until end of turn. So overall, when it's placed, again, a lot of Cho Cho is when it's placed you get to activate skills making it a very fun deck and that means you can constantly replenish during your battle phase your units you might lose some but hey that's just a slight cost overall she's not a bad card her art is decent she is a double rare and SP so overall yeah this is gonna become a main staple of decks I feel like but it could always be worse. And we'll move on to the next one. Chocho -cho selfie, sel Selfies. So she is a common with 8k base power. 
Uh, and she has an auto soul blast one. When this unit's placed on rear during a battle phase, you may pay the cost if you do. Choose two of your other units with Chocho in its name, and they get 2k until end of turn if you have these units. This unit gets 4k. So again, this unit, this unit, and another unit all combo. Which is good if you're running them. If you're not, then I guess you don't combo. Don't really know. Uh, overall thoughts on Carter. I like it. Um, it's nice. Haven't really seen too too many differences in the Chocho -Cho Carter. Moving on to Chocho -Cho Surge. She's a single rare. And she has the auto rear guard counter blast one. She's one of your other rear guards with Chocho -Cho and its name. Put it to the bottom of the deck when this unit attack hits. You may pay the cost if you do draw. So she increases your hand size at a counter blast essentially while replenishing your deck, which is always good. It's sort of this deck's theme, it looks like. And then her, she has an auto once per turn generation break one. When one of your other rear guards is put into your deck during your turn, choose one of your units and give it 4k. So this is a nice bit way to stack up power. Um, card art, I like it because it's different. It follows the originality of Bermuda Triangle, but while staying somewhat relevant to Cho Cho art. Moving on to the next Cho Cho, which is the grade 3 of the combo that has gone over twice now. So Counter Blast 1, choose one of your other rear guards with Cho Cho and same, put it to the bottom of the deck. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one grade 1 and one grade 2 card with Cho Cho and same from hand, call them to separate rear guards. If you have Cho Cho selfies and Cho Cho Menace, draw a card. So again, this is a combo that I see people going to be probably running because it allows you to essentially activate three skills and get a whole bunch of benefits off of replenishing and this and that so I'm excited to see what deck builds are for Chocho -Cho with the, the grade 3 lineup but I believe this will become another staple of the deck moving on to the uh, grade 4 guards so as you guys know I had theorized what this unit was going to be I did I believe I said it was going to be a G guard or a stride and I was right. I was hoping it would be a grade 4 at the very least. So it is a G-Guard. This is Chocho -Cho Engage Lean Plati. Obviously standard um, during your opponent's turn. Drop a heal. Call to guard circle by sun. This unit has the auto soul blast. Choose one of your other rear guards with Chocho -Cho in its name. Put it to the bottom of your deck. When this is placed on guard, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card and this unit gets 5k shield until on the battle. It is not the greatest... G guard, but it's not the worst. And overall, I mean, overall it does look very well. And I hope it does very well. I'm excited to sort of see where this goes. But guys, we have the last card right here that is the grade 4 of current release. This is the fourth grade 4. And that unit is Chocho -Cho Headliner Lair. Her skill is. Auto Vanguard, Counter Blast 1, choose a card face down from your G zone with the same card name as this unit, turn it face up. Once you attacks, you may pay the cost if you do, choose two or more rear guards for each face up card in your G zone, put them to the bottom of your deck in any order, draw the same number of cards as the cards put into your deck. If you have a heart with Chocho -Cho in its name, draw a card, then if, you have, if you've drawn four or more cards in total, choose up to five cards from your hand and call them to separate rear guard. So this is good and bad in my opinion. So when she's attacking, so you can attack with all your rear guards, use their skills, send them to the bottom of deck, or when they're sent, draw cards, so on and so forth. And then if four more cards are drawn, you get to call up to five units, which is really good. So late game, she has a lot of potential for pressure. She comes in a triple rare and an SP, making her probably one of the more valuable cards in the set. I'm really hoping that, um, with this set they drop the price of runa because i'd really like to play it but it's just so expensive to actually build a deck it costs nearly six seven hundred dollars at a time so i'm kind of excited to see where this will go but yeah guys her card art's pretty good um my only hope is that it's a little bit cheaper than what they're showing here or what i'm believe what i'm thinking it's going to be 
Um, let's just go over. I can't get any more disappointed that Chocho's main stride is ugly. Probably one of the nicer arts by this artist, but she's still just so ugly. I personally like the art. Yeah, it's just a lot of people ragging on the art right now. Um, and yeah, guys, that's sort of it for the video. Um, overall, like I said, I like her card art. Um, I actually hope that she's a rel halfway decently cheap. And yeah, this looks to be her SP form. So that's going to be the most valuable card. I actually can't wait to see um, these beach um, bathing suits rarities they have. But guys, until next time, I've been the Silver Wolf. I'll see you all later. Peace.